I would have thought by now that I would have seen all of the weirdest recipes out there in the world. Turns out I was wrong. And today we're gonna to be testing out two of the weirdest cake recipes that I have ever come across. One of which is about a hundred years old. And both of these recipes I actually came across scrolling through my For You page on TikTok. They both came from B. Dylan Hollis. I will link him down below. You can go and check out. He's tested out a whole bunch of really like old school recipes. Super entertaining. So go and check him out. And the two that I'm testing out today, he seemed to really like, and they just got me really curious. And I was like, I want to test them. I want to, I want to know if a tomato soup cake actually tastes like chocolate. Does it? We'll find out. So make sure you're subscribed. New videos here every single Saturday, and you can go and check out more stuff on Instagram or on my other channel, Rach Loves, in case you didn't know, I have two channels. And with that, let's dive into the first one, which is a tomato soup cake. That's right, tomato soup cake. Or as Dylan says, a tomato soup cake. It wasn't at all like I always said it. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend that was accurate. And the recipe I'm using is one that I found online. It seems fairly similar to what he had done in the video. He didn't actually list or say what recipe he was following. So I'm just gonna kind of wing it here. And this is a recipe from 1950. So not quite hundred years old, but that's the one I wanna start with because at the end he said it tasted like chocolate. And I need to know how, how. So first things first, we're gonna bring out Francesca. Brandy, where are you at? I feel like this recipe is like right in Franny's wheelhouse. This just feels like, like her day, you know? Franny is excited about the tomato soup cake. And so into the bowl, we're gonna put in two tablespoons of butter with one cup of sugar. And then we blend. <laughs> it's like snow. Wait, hang on. Use the wrong tool. Will this be better? I don't know. Hiya. Blend. Creamy at all. Maybe I scoop you all together. Then you'll be creamy. Nope. Not getting creamy. More like um, like a coconut flake kind of consistency. Now we're going to sift this to the side a little bit. And we have our two cups of sifted cake flour. This was sifted three times. Not once, not twice. Three times. And then we're gonna add some spices. Make it a little bit spicy. We have one teaspoon each of cloves, cinnamon, and nutmeg. It actually smells really good. It's just, <coughs> it's just very strong. <coughs> In you go. Bloop. Then it's just a quarter teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of baking soda. Don't worry, after we mix this together, we need to add in the piece de resistance. Tomato soup in a can. So we need to mix, 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 mix. Mix. Okay, this is all mixed. Now, tomato soup time. Ta-da! Okay, tomato soup and a cake. Here we go. That didn't do anything that I expected it to. Huh. I wanted it to all come out at once, you know, just like a bleh. But no, gotta do it this way. Mmm, delicious. Put that in there, Let's blend it. I don't like it. Now we dump in the dry ingredients. Get them in there. <coughs> the smells a lot. Just the mix of the cloves and nutmeg and tomato soup. <coughs> it's like a thing. That is a very orange cake. It doesn't smell great. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. But I appreciate that there were people that came up with this creative solution. People are so creative, doesn't matter what era. I'm just gonna butter my bacon dish a little bit. Bacon dish. That would be good in here. With the tomato soup and the spices, a little bacon. All right, so we have our batter here. In it goes. It's very fall. Maybe this is a good fall cake. Just smooth it all out here. All right, into the oven our tomato cake goes. Off to bake into deliciousness. So now, while the tomato soup cake is baking, for about an hour, because you really need to bake in that tomato soup. We are now gonna go on to a chocolate potato cake. The recipe that I saw on TikTok, this was from 1912. Mine is a little bit different because it was the closest one that I could find where there was an actual recipe and list of ingredients. So they're pretty similar, but a little different. But there is chocolate and there is potato. So we're gonna do this. And we're gonna start by creaming together some butter and sugar. The recipe that I'm using calls for a third of a cup of butter and a cup of sugar. We are going to blend it or Mix it, not blend it, mix it. Now we blend! 
Blend Francesca! And while that's blending, let's check on this tomato soup cake. Cause I'm very curious. It still has like eight minutes left, but like it's been in there for a while. How you doing? Oh my gosh, my oven is so dirty. Okay, here we go. Oh, looking really golden. Smells cinnamony and clovey. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little toothpick test and see. All right, that's clean. So we're gonna leave this to cool while we continue our potato cake. It smells a little tomato-y, I'm not gonna lie. And then to this mixture, we're gonna add two eggs. One, two. Mix that together. This feels normal. And now we're gonna get into the potato part of the recipe and they want half a cup of mashed potatoes, skins on. So I have boiled these potatoes, they've cooled a little bit, and now we're gonna mash them. How mashed? Doesn't say. I would say pretty mashed though. I feel like I'm just gonna like pre-mash it a little bit and then have Francesca do the rest of it because I don't want to. Why did I choose the world's smallest bowl? Why? Let's do this one. Boop. Don't mind me, just mashing up my potatoes for my cake. And when I was delving into a little bit of research on this, this particular one, it seems quite common and really highly rated. A lot of people have done cakes like this and had a lot of success with it. And I was trying to figure out what the ingredients is that they are looking to replace in this particular recipe because oftentimes in these older recipes, they're doing all these different interesting hacks and ways to get around certain restrictions on different ingredients. They're crafty. So potato, I'm trying to figure out, I think because it's starchy, it would have been flour is my guess, but I don't know that for sure. So if you do know, let me know in the comments because I think that's really cool. And then to this, we're gonna add a quarter cup of milk. And I'm just, again, kind of following a mixture of the recipe that I found and the TikTok video. And he seemed to add the milk to the potatoes, which kind of makes sense. Mashy mashy. Now I'm just melting two squares of chocolate. Seemed like in the video he kind of grated his in, but the recipe I'm following said melted. And then it didn't say where to put the chocolate. So I'm gonna put it in here first and then put the potatoes in here. <laughs> do, 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 do. Dude, dude, I'm actually very excited about this potato one. I'm not as excited about the tomato one, though I, I do need to make an icing for that. But the potato one, I don't think this is gonna taste terrible. I think this is going to be good. I'm just calling it, never made it before, but I think it's gonna be great. Give that a little mix. And now to our chocolate cake, let's mix in potato. Get in there, mashed potato. Never have I ever put mashed potatoes into a chocolate cake mix, but here we are. All right, mixy mixy. And now for the dry ingredients, we have some flour. This is by the way, one cup, two teaspoons of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon each of cloves and nutmeg and half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Give this a little mix and then we're gonna add it to the wet ingredients. And I don't know what kind of icing I'm gonna do for this one. In the TikTok one, they just boiled like butter, sugar, milk, and chocolate, I think. And then just kind of poured that on top. It's not exactly how I do it, but like, I'm interested. And then we're just going to blend. <laughs> this just reminds me of the Friends episode. You know, the one where they made um, the trifle, the English, the traditional English trifle with bananas and custard and then beef sauteed with peas and onions. This is what this feels like. This is my Friends episode. Get that all in there. Scrape down the sides. Ooh, big chunk of potato there. I might re-mash this a little bit. I just wanna make sure that the lumps are out of it. I don't want it to be too lumpy because I think it should be more of a smooth consistency, but I don't wanna overmix it either. So I'm trying to be careful. Then I'm gonna put this into a 350 oven and I'm gonna check it every 20 minutes or so. I have no idea. It has no indication anywhere as to what temperature to put it in for, how long to put it in for, so I'm just gonna keep checking it. I would assume it's around the same as the tomato soup cake, but I don't know. All right, potato cake is cooking. Making a little bit of some icing for the tomato cake. And I think it has fully cooled down now, so I'm gonna take it out of its little <laughs> baking dish. There she is. Beautiful. Let's ice her. All 
All right, I've iced both cakes, but I'm not eating this by myself. Christopher. Hey. <laughs> cake. Look at this. Huh? It looks good. I, like it looks like a cake. Is that cream cheese? No, it's oh. not. It looks a lot like cream cheese frosting. Had I had cream cheese, I would have done that because I think that's actually what they did in the original. But this is just a buttercream, which is like I'm close enough. It smells very pumpkin spicy. It feels very much like a loaf. Yeah. In terms of consistency. Well. Good luck. <laughs> Texture's nice. Spices play into it big. Very moist. It is actually. The top is a little on the crunchy side. A little bit, pleasantly. I'm gonna try it without. Frosting. Oh, without the frosting? Yeah, the mm. frosting is very overpowering. I'll tell you what I want. Oh, it's very, try... <laughs> having it without the icing, it's very spice forward. I don't like that as much, but no tomato. I do not taste tomato at all. No, no, not at all. I just want this with butter. I don't think it needs frosting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Little bite. I like it better with the frosting. The frosting's just sugar. I mean, it's good, but. I like the spice and I like the butter. Yeah. It's good. I'm it's, impressed. It's a spice cake. Mm -hmm. It's a spice cake, 100%. And it smells better now than it did when it was baking. Mm -hmm. Like when I was putting it together, it was very tomato forward. And that was a very intense scent that I did not like. Maybe you would have liked the the smell of it, but like I was not, not into it. I don't like tomato soup unless I have a grilled cheese sandwich. Then I need tomato soup. For me, it's like I need pickles and ketchup with my grilled cheese. Why Always you, pickles. Why do you need ketchup if you have the soup? I don't know. It's a it's dip. I don't why like tomato dip soup. In the soup. I know, but then I have all this leftover tomato soup that I don't want. Make me a grilled cheese and I'll have it. <laughs> it works. Solution. So do you want to try the next one? Because I made another weird cake. Oh sure, yeah. <laughs> More cake. <laughs> this time it's one of your favorite vegetables. This is a. Chocolate potato cake. Chocolate is my favorite vegetable. <laughs> Christopher. And there's like a little drizzle on it, mm -hmm. you know? Looks good. Like, honestly, when I was making this one, this one smelled like, oh yeah, that would be a cake. And there's potato flour. Like, yeah. it's, a, it's a thing that exists. Sure. This is mashed potato. I don't see why that wouldn't work. I, like, I think this will actually be good. Okay, let's, let's, yeah. It looks dense. Yes. I also made it in a loaf pan, which also kind of makes it look more dense. Yeah. This also has many of the same spices as the last cake with the cloves, nutmeg, and cinnamon. Cloves, that's what I was getting on. Yeah. yeah, that's what that Very was. Very intense. Like I can I can still taste the powdery like spices in my mouth. It smells mildly chocolatey. That's a very um, banana bread, mm -hmm. carrot cake kind of crumb. Yep, very moist, yep. not very lacked and fluffy. Ooh, it just like melts away. It really does kind of fall apart, mm -hmm. you know? It didn't have like amounts of time that it would cook for. Oh, so this I, is cooked. Cause I, like I checked it like toothpick wise. By the way, it was about 40 minutes in the oven. It looks fully cooked, it's just. Crumb. Crumbly. Yeah. Jeez. Boop. Mm. You don't like that? All I got was chocolate sauce. Oh, try that again. That's so good. It's not bad. What? No. I prefer the tomato spice cake. Really? Absolutely. Oh, this yeah. one's way more up my alley. Comparison now. This is a crumble. This one tastes like a cake. Mm -hmm. This one tastes like a loaf. This yes. is a spice loaf. Yes. This is more of that soft, fluffy, moist cake. It's not as like intensely flavored, but the, the glaze over top is really nice. You don't taste potato at all to me. I don't know. I haven't come across any like potato skins. I personally would probably pull that out next time, but like that's a good cake to me. I can't believe you said that to a potato cake. Let potatoes be what they are. Let cake be what it is. Have some fries, cake for dessert. Next morning, have tomato spice loaf for breakfast. No. <laughs> okay, I will. Okay, you can, you can have this then. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> so, just gave my kids a sampling of both cakes, but I didn't tell them what it was, and I wanted to know what they thought the cakes were and which one they liked the best. So, they both preferred the tomato soup cake, and they tried to guess what it was, so Julia guessed it was like pumpkin spice, Luke thought carrot, when I told them it was tomato soup cake, 
Julia's like, get out of here. <laughs> and then Luke looked at me and he said, why do I only get a small amount of the tomato sauce cake? <laughs> so I guess there you go. They are also on team spice cake. Team tomato soup cake for the kiddos. Tomato sauce cake. <laughs> okay, tell me in the comments below, are you team tomato soup cake or chocolate potato cake? I need to know. Because apparently, Chris and I are at odds about this. I think this one's the clear winner. You know what would change your mind? Mid-afternoon, cream cheese frosting on the spice cake, mm -hmm. cup of strong coffee, and a little bit of butter and salt. And then I would hand that loaf to you and take my chocolate potato cake with my strong coffee. This was very good, nice and moist, and I can see why people put potato and cake. I'm just gonna say it. Make sure you check out these other videos on the side in case you have missed any, and let me know if there are any other recipes out there that you have seen that you think I should try out. Leave me a comment down below, and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Love you all. Mwah. Pretty sure I just got chocolate on my nose. Whoops.